You're watching the video live stream of Greenville High School's 2022 graduation. We're streaming it on both Facebook and YouTube, so let your friends and family know this is the place to watch it tonight. The graduation ceremony begins at 8 p.m. This live stream is produced by Celebrate Media Group. Yes, yes. Okay. You need more? I need to adjust the levels now. You need more? Come here. You need more? Hey, hey, all right, all right. Test one. Hold on. Hey, one. Video test. Hey, hey. All right, broadcast test. Hey, one, two, one, two, three. All right, okay. Talking and walking. Broadcast test one, two. Broadcast one, two. Recording. Broadcast test one, two. Level check.
Hey, hey. Let's go. Broadcast one, two. Broadcast test one, two. My test one, two. Better? Okay. I'm sending you a little less, but you've got more. You've got more control now. You're watching the video live stream of Greenville High School's 2022 graduation. We're streaming it on both Facebook and YouTube, so let your friends and family know this is the place to watch it tonight. The graduation ceremony begins at 8 p.m. This live stream is produced by Celebrate Media Group. to Jimmy to find the shade.
hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. One, hey, test one, two. This is one. This mic two. You, you got, got this one. one? Okay. Nineteen, here we go. Hey, hey, much better. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two. Hey, one, two. Hey, one, two. Hey, one, two. Hey, hey, hey. Mic check, there we go. Mic check. I think that's better. Yes. Is that better, Richard? All right. Check. 
check.
Check. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of the colors. Please welcome Meredith Williams, Trey Soto, and Desiree Sanchez to the stage for the Pledge of Allegiance. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glow, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? O'er the land of the free and the home of the Our principal. All right, here we go. Thank you. Please be seated. What a beautiful night for the 2022 Greenville High School graduation ceremony. We are so blessed to be sharing this special day with a great bunch of young men and women. Today is a momentous occasion, both in the lives of these graduates before me and in the lives of the school and this school district as a whole. Each commencement is special, and we are honored to give thanks in our own ways for the successes of these graduates. Bear with me a little bit because I've got a lot of people to recognize before we get this party started. 
Class of 2022, this, commitment, this commencement marks a milestone in your lives. As you begin this new journey, please join me in thanking your parents, family members, and friends because they are also guests of honor today at this celebration. I want to acknowledge the role they played in getting you where they are today, getting you where you are today. Let's give them a round of applause. I would also like to recognize our Board of Trustees, sitting to my left, President Trina Stafford, President Roger Livingston, Vice President Roger Livingston, Secretary Tish Woodruff, and Trustees Ann Hayes, Bonnie Jean Stewart, Mike Rockley, and Aletha Cruz. Thank you for being such exemplary servant leaders and devoting countless hours to the students and the staff of Greenville Independent School District. Also on stage tonight is our superintendent, Sharon Booth. Not only is she an inspiration to all of us, but she's also the first woman to serve in this role in the history of Greenville ISD. Thank you for your leadership through the past school year, Ms. Booth, and for all of your support. On a personal note, you've been very gracious in sharing your knowledge and including me in so many incredible experiences. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I would also like to recognize in the back row here, Deputy Superintendent Dr. Shazma Crooks, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Greg Anderson, along with other members of Central Office, as well as teachers, staff, and the many principals who played a large role in this evening. Thank you for being here tonight. To be honest, I've been waiting for this next paragraph for a long time, for most of the year, actually. I'd now like to recognize your principal for three of your four years, and now our current Human Resources Officer, Heath Jarvis. Principal Jarvis. You know, I was hired one week ago this week. I knew I was going to be the principal of Greenville High School. And I actually laid in bed with my wife and my two daughters and we watched this graduation from my bedroom in Allen, Texas. And I kept watching Principal Jarvis, and I was making comments to my wife because he was having like five minute conversations with every student that walked up to the stage. And I'm like, who does this guy think he is, Santa Claus? But now that I'm in Greenville, I understand. This is a town and this is a place full of relationships, full of connections. And now that I've had this amazing year to work with Principal Jarvis, I understand that's the type of person he is. Those are the relationships he's made. And I want you to know, Mr. Jarvis, I could not have done this year without your support. Thank you. <laughs> to my right, I'd like to recognize our counselors, Catherine Just, Tanya Payne, Emily Vega, Susan Sykes, And of course, Ms. Tina Pitt, our career and college advisor. Thank you all for everything that you've done for our seniors and working with them to get to graduation and preparing them for their future. And then of course, to the GISD faculty that are here tonight for preparing them and all their sponsors and many other that have volunteered countless hours to help organize and participate the senior class at graduation. Thank you for your dedication. Other distinguished members of our faculty tonight include our campus administration team, Ari Weinberg, Eric Lewis, Kim Svatek, Dale Mason, Dr. Michelle Baird, and the newly named principal of the Greenville Middle School, DeAndre Carter. I like saying that, DeAndre. Announcing the graduates tonight will be our theater teacher, Mr. Jody Flippin. And then finally, before I get to what I'd like to say, I would like to bring a special acknowledgement to our graduates and those who have chosen to join one of the branches of our armed services and any member of the audience who is either currently serving or has served in the military, would you please all stand and be recognized.
thank you. Your commitment to protect the freedoms we enjoy as Americans is courageous and most appreciated. We all thank you very much. The class of 2022 has been a group that has made GHS very, very proud. The seniors sitting in front of you have been through quite possibly three of the toughest years in the history of public education. Although they enjoyed a typical freshman year, during their sophomore year, their lives and the world as we knew it drastically changed. Right after spring break in 2020. And just when we think things can't get any worse, 2021 comes along and hits us like a ton of bricks. It was hard on teachers, it was hard on families, and of course it was hard on you, our students. You and your class have shown unprecedented resiliency, grit, and determination during your generation-defining pandemic. Thankfully, senior year brought back some semblance of normalcy. We had some awesome pep rallies. We had a great homecoming. We had a bonfire, Friday night lights, flaming flashes back on the field, Lion Pride Bay back on the field, performing while our cheerleaders and our fans yelled for the Greenville Lions on this very field, and it was amazing to watch. We were able to enjoy full sports seasons, prom, graduation, and tonight we have a special all-night party called Project Graduation that we would encourage all of the students to come to. You know, I love working at Greenville High School, and I love being part of the Greenville community. Many of you know that I made the decision to come work here after a 24-year career in Plano ISD. But about two years ago, I was chilling on the couch, and I saw Morgan Freeman, and he was in an interview. And he said, you know what? You need to challenge yourself. It's the only path that will lead you to growth. And for some reason that day, hearing Morgan Freeman and his Morgan Freeman voice say those words, it kind of stuck with me. I thank God every day that I decided to challenge myself by doing so. And I'm now fortunate to be part of the Greenville community. Students, it might surprise you to know, because some people think I'm scary, but I'm really not. I'm actually a big softie, and I'm also an extremely emotional person. And I'm being serious. I've been known to get misty-eyed at my house during cartoons. For instance, Finding Nemo, when he lost his mom at the beginning of it, tears. Finding Nemo, when he was reunited with his father at the end, tears. I was just watching Encanto last weekend, and that's probably more your speed as far as cartoons go, tears. I'm telling you, having children and working with children will do that to you. But I'm not ashamed of it at all. I get emotional when I witness things, special things, beautiful things, or moments like tonight when I feel close to God. Ms. Both, Ms. Booth knows this firsthand, and she always likes to let me know with that sly smirk that she has. Yeah, that one right there. There have been many moments this year when I've quietly lost it because of the things I've witnessed. Examples, I've seen deep-rooted community support at my first Golden Lions luncheon, amazing. Feeling the power and the passion of our student body at my first pep rally and my first bonfire, amazing. Watching our kids at their best at a multitude of things, but some including most recently, the FFA banquet, amazing. Robotics tournaments, the floor show, the winter pop, I mean the winter um, concert for the band and the, uh, the pop show for the choir most recently. And then of course there's tonight. I have the opportunity to look out over my first senior class. I feel like I could lose it at any moment. Words can't express how thankful I am for all of you seniors for such an amazing year. I'm very proud and love each and every one of you and I want you all to enjoy this evening you certainly have earned it. Now I would like to call DeAndre Carter, the current chancellor of our early college program, to the podium. I'm not as tall as Dr. Perry. Let me load that real quick. Good evening. Thank you, Dr. Perry. The Greenville Early College High School started in May of 2018. Two weeks ago, 
our seniors celebrated their graduation of their associate degrees at Paris Junior College. Seven of those students became the first high school Texans ever to receive an engineering degree while still in high school. Congratulations. Will my Greenville Early College High School students please rise and be recognized? You may be seated. The first stanza of See It Through by Edgar A. Guest states, when you're up against the trouble, meet it squarely face to face. Lift your chin and set your shoulders, plant your feet and take a brace. When it's vain to try to dodge it, do the best that you can do. Running from it will not save you, see it through. These seniors have saw it through for four years. They've been through a pandemic. They've been experimenting on as we try to figure out exactly how to run on early college high school. And they have made me a better principal and this community a better place. I would like to say thank you to the board for their continued support. Superintendent Sharon Booth and Mr. Heath Jarvis for giving me the opportunity to be your chancellor. To my teachers and my staff and my counselors, thank you. Most importantly, to the parents of these graduates tonight, thank you for your continued support as well. Seniors, you know I love you and I am proud of you. And remember, I am pushing you into the world to live by our motto, lead, achieve, succeed, and empower. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Carter. And now we'd like to invite up Emma Woods. Emma will be attending Harding University in the spring, and she is number three in the class of the 22 seniors. Emma Woods. I thought I was gonna get to sit down before I had to give this speech. Looking back at all the years we've spent together at Greenville High School, I realize how much I'm going to miss it here. Our four years of high school have been anything but normal. Do you remember our freshman year when we had to wear a standardized dress? Nothing says I have the best fit like khaki pants and a red polo. We all looked like golfers. And I should know, I was on the golf team freshman year, and yes, that was the uniform. Although a standardized dress wasn't the best fit for all of us, our freshman year was the only full normal year of high school we had. It was the only year we ended and finished like it was supposed to go. Our sophomore year, the year free dress began, and the start of a year with a not so joyful, but school free ending. Sophomore year was the year most of us found what we were going to do for the rest of our high school years. We realized what sports we wanted to play, what clubs we wanted to be a part of. Freshman year was just trying things out, but sophomore year, was when we, most of us decided what we liked to do and, what we, and when we quit what we didn't care for. The most remarkable thing about sophomore year is the longest spring break of our lives. I remember thinking that we'd go back to school soon. I never imagined that we'd be out for a whole summer due to a pandemic. Even now, I still have some doubts that it even happened. We had over a five month break from school. And unless you decide otherwise, that's the longest break you'll get until you retire. Looking back at the COVID break, I thought I had fun, but I realized I missed what I loved the most about school, the people. And going five months and only seeing your family can sometimes make you go a little crazy. That brings us to our junior year, the most uncommon school year that we ever faced. We were online for half the time and some of us were at school for the other half. It was the messiest year by far. The only thing decent about that year is the use of Google Classroom. That year, most of us got by by doing the bare minimum we had to do to pass. Some of us used that year to make our grades better by giving just a little more effort. It was the easiest school year of our lives. Some of us barely even ever showed up. Why log into classes when you can watch TV? By the end of our junior year, some of us were thriving, and others of us were just begging for things to get a little more like they used to be. I know I was. And finally, our senior year. 
Our last year here at Greenville High School, a year packed with people telling us to do scholarships that we probably didn't start until a month ago, if we started at all. We, made, we all made important decisions this year, where we are going to college, where we might work after high school, all in all, just where we are going to go from here. We all had to, or are going to, make that decision because now our high school days are over and it's time for the rest of our lives to begin. We had fun in high school, we got bored in high school. We learned important things about ourselves, but there's still more to come. We've been through it all during high school, and I think that makes us strong enough to get through anything else life throws our way. You might miss this place, you might not, but I hope we all cherish the memories we made. I would now like to introduce Caden Bowers, number two in our class, who will be attending University of North Texas. Good evening, students, teachers, family, and friends. I am honored and honestly extremely nervous to be speaking in front of all of you tonight. First, I would like to thank everyone for being here on this momentous occasion as we close the book on this chapter in our lives and begin writing a new one. You all have had a profound impact on the lives and the developments of the students graduating today. And I feel comfortable saying that I speak on the behalf of the entire class of 2022 in thanking all of you for everything you've done to make us the men and women that we are today. I would also like to give a special thank you to my amazing mom. She is the strongest woman that I have ever met and has played the role of both parents perfectly. She is super loving and has been hard on me and my sisters when we need it. She has made me the best man that I can be and I am so proud to call her my mom. Our journey began 13 years ago as little five-year-olds in kindergarten learning our ABCs and how to read and write. We built countless memories here and still to this day argue about which elementary school was the best. But if we're being honest, the top two both went to Lamar, so I think we can put this argument to rest. The years flew by and after some pretty awkward years of middle school, we made it to freshman year to begin what is said to be the best years of your life. As I look back on our last four years, we experienced many ups and downs. The second semester of our sophomore year would give us the next two years of high school that no one could have ever imagined. One day, we were let out for spring break and never went back. Classes in all sports were canceled, and many athletes' final seasons were cut short. September eventually arrived, and school was eventually back in session. Or I guess you would call it that. I don't think any of us would have ever thought that our junior year we would be learning exponential functions in Owensy's class while laying in bed and eating an entire bag of potato chips. That may have been just me, but I think we can all agree that COVID changed our lives drastically. However, COVID was not the only defining moment of our high school career, and we also had many accomplishments and memorable moments to be proud of. Throughout our years of high school, we have had many athletic accomplishments. Our class was a defining part of making it to the playoffs back-to-back -back in football, along with a district championship in volleyball, two back-to-back -back playoff appearances. This year, the soccer team took an amazing team to the playoffs with an amazing playoff-clinching win against North Forney. Although our other sports may not have made the playoffs, we had fun and made memories. And as Coach Slayton would say, we paid our debt every day. High school has been chock full of amazing memories that I will never forget and have made numerous friends that I will cherish for the rest of my life. To my fellow seniors, all I can say is, we made it. I have enjoyed getting to know all of you and want to say that the world is a big place and I can't wait to hear about all of your success. Good luck and congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2022 attending ETBU this fall, Jenna Way. I'm Jenna Wade. 
Good evening, fellow students, family, friends, faculty, the superintendent, Ms. Booth, school board members, guests, and most importantly, the class of 2022. We did it, guys. Look around and let it sink in for just a second. I want to start by saying congratulations. Through all the odds, doubts, and obstacles, we all managed to graduate together. I wouldn't be standing here today without every person that has helped me along the way, especially mom and dad. Words can't say how much I love y'all and how thankful I am for the both of you. You have always believed in me and encouraged me to do my best in whatever it may be. I wish I had the time to thank everyone, but they didn't give me much time in the spotlight. But I do want to say some special thank yous to Gary and Coach Sickles for not only teaching me everything I need to know about volleyball, but for also helping me become the person I am today. And Mr. Vic. I'm not sure if he's here today, or here, he may be, um, or not, but this man right here has to be one of the hardest working individuals I've ever met. Vic is the kind of person that one, I aspire to be like, and two, represents the kind of people that come from Greenville. You're one in a million, Vic. In the process of writing my speech, I had no clue what I wanted to say. One thing I was sure about was making sure everybody knew how special Mr. Shifflett is and how much of an impact he has made on my life. There's no way possible I would have made it through these past four years without you, Mr. Shifflett, let alone be the valedictorian. You always encouraged me to do my best, whether it was with art or not. You were there for me when I needed someone to talk to, whether you wanted to listen or not. You have always been more than a teacher to me, and you have helped me grow tremendously in my art abilities and pushed me to go outside of my comfort zone. I've seen the way you change other people's lives around me and show me what kind of person I want to be as I become an adult. Thank you, Mr. Shifflett, for being my role model, my encouragement, my therapist, my teacher, and friend. I will forever cherish the bond that we have shared. Okay. With that being said, Theodore Roosevelt once said, believe you can and you're halfway there. And Walt Disney once said, if you can dream it, you can do it. Now, I could go on and on saying encouraging quotes and say, follow your dreams or be who you want to be, but quite frankly, a lot of us don't know who we want to be just yet. So instead, I just want to reflect on who we were these past four years. I want to first thank Greenville High School for not only leaving me with the wisdom that I need to excel in whatever path I may take, but for also being at home these past four years, leaving me with memories that I will treasure for the rest of my life. What seems to be forgotten is the kind of people that make up Greenville ISD, a community that is built from people who just simply care about the people around them, a community that has made a lot of our parents and the people they are today, who chose to put their own children into Greenville schools as well. I guarantee you at most high schools, you don't get the one-on-one -on -one questions of simply how's your day going or someone checking up on you or a simple smile in the hallway. Thank you, Dr. Perry, for joining our family. I'm honored to say I'm your first valedictorian at Greenville High School. I hope you stick around. It shouldn't matter about rankings, what number you were, if you were the smartest. What matters the most is what kind of person you were these past four years. So after graduation, when you're looking back, I hope you're proud of the person you've become. Go through life being known as someone who is kind. It's not always about what you do in life, it's about who you are. A quote that I like and a quote that I like to live by says, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And lastly, now some of you may soar into adulthood with ease, while some may struggle. But never forget your roots. Leave here today with confidence that you will make something of yourself because you're Greenville Lion at heart. I'm proud to say I'm a part of the class of 2022 because personally, I think our class is one for the books. Everybody wanted to know what we would do if we didn't win. I guess we'll never know. And here's our principal, Dr. Perry. Great job. Great job to all three of our student speakers. Good evening again. Superintendent Booth, it is my distinct honor to present to you our candidates for the 2021-2022 graduating class from Greenville High School. As principal of Greenville High School and after careful scrutiny 
the requirements submitted in my office, I have found that the students before you have completed all requirements for graduation in the state of Texas. I therefore, therefore certify that these candidates for graduation have fully satisfied the requirements prescribed by the Texas Education Agency, Superintendent Booth. They are now here to await your confirmation. So by the authority vested in me as the superintendent of Greenville Independent School District, a representative of Mike Morath, Texas Commissioner of Education, as appointed by the Governor Greg Abbott, having been presented by the high school principal, Dr. Brant Perry, confirming that you have completed the basic requirements prescribed by the Texas Department of Education, I now confirm you high school graduates of Greenville High School for the 2021-2022 school year. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Booth. Family, friends, students, what do you say we hand out some diplomas? Makeda. Jaden Keith Turner. Jenna Brooke Wade. Caden Matthew Bowers. Emma Elizabeth Woods. Taylor Nicole Storms. Mary Ann Adelui. Arati Bouchal. Gregory Cole Just. <laughs> Natalie Therese Kibbe. Cameron Thomas Christian. Ashton Aaron Brown. Jenny Gonzalez. Yeah. 
Miranda Lynette Himes. Anaya Dion Johnson. Ignacio Moreno. Christian Munoz. Rodolfo Alejandro Pena. Samay Rivera. Donnie Ray Robertson. Veronica Sophia Seiler. Tony Earl Snowden. Trey Soto. Diana Melanie Vaca. Damian Acosta. Riley Foster Adams. Jonathan UCL Aguia, Aguilar, sorry. Xander Gavin Aguilar. Evelyn Naomi Aguirre. Rebecca Alessandra Alba. Dade Alexander Allen. Devin Thomas Allen. Jalen Allen. Ryan Cole Allen. Ty Quan Dondrell Alex. Ashley Michelle Allison. Gabriel Alexander Alvarez Sandoval. Bailey Nicole Amador. Antoine Deshin Anderson. Jaslyn Jesche Anderson. Nagarian Lejay Anderson.
Mia Jules Angel. Ariana Ariani I Portella. Anaya Janae Appleberry. Sharon Christine Ashby. Sheridan Hokulani Ashby. Markel Jawain Lee Austin. Nathaniel Kai Austin. Jonathan Fane Bass. Bianca Benitez Infante. Pooja Bushal. Rhea Bushal. David Borjas. Lionel Borjas Tristan. Travis Dean Bowers. Kennedy Renee Brevard. Braylon Deshaun Brown. Elias Gabriel Brant, Bryant. <laughs> Janessa Rebecca Bueno. <laughs> and Trey Burnett. Emily Ann Burns. Nicholas Alexander Bustamante. Ruby Abigail Calabrese. Ariana Marie Caldwell. Jimmy. 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 Izzy. I love you. Alan Cardoso. Krista Louise Carroll.
Araceli Castaneda Rohel. Jonathan Valentino Castillo. Rodolfo Castillo Jr. Jackson James Cathy. Jaden Marquise Champion. Abby Ray Chapman. Caroline Alyssa Clark. Kevin Aiden Clark Smith. Colton Joseph Clayton. Sanaya Lanina Coleman. <laughs> Japheth Scott Cranville. <laughs> Michael Robert Stephen Crowther. Hunter Ryan Crump. Erica J. Cruz. Smokey Dale Cumby. Jonathan James Cummings. Merlay Aurora Dalton. Adrian Trishon Antonio Davis. Eric Davis. Hayden Renee Davis. Crystal De La Cruz. Isaiah Aaron De La Fuente. Eduardo De La Cruz Hernandez. Maria Misiela de la Cruz. Jose Antonio Delio. Amirani Diaz.
Dawson Lyle Diggs. Elizabeth Leanna Doty. Stella Marie Duke. Emily Angeli Duran. Silali Agia Ramirez. Joshua Andrew Algazabal. <laughs> Majesty Almone Leah Embry. Almone Leah. Almone Leah Embry. Gabriela Enriquez. <laughs> Marina Lissette Enriquez. Sarah Camille Eshelman. Yanelli Mabel Espindola. Gabriela Anai Espinoza. Guy Elias Espinoza. Augustine Estrada, Jr. Joanna Estrada. Coriana Brishan Evans. Colin Christos Evanson. Catherine B. Figueroa. Carl Mason Fogarty. Austin Michael Forrester. Jose Jonathan Frere. Justin Leonel Franco. Kimmy Marie Freeman. Oh, 
Joseph Myron Gawley. Samuel Daniel Gallegos. Amy Elizabeth Garcia. <laughs> Cynthia Michelle Garcia Castillo. Evelyn Haiti Garcia. Haley Marie Garcia. Miguel Garcia Laguna. Gabriel Santos Garza. Ricardo Garza. Desiree Eve Iron. Jose Armando Gomez. Alondra Wallace. Angel Elian Gonzalez. Gabriela Erica Gonzalez. Zahid Alexandro Gonzalez. Andrea R. Gudvan. Anna Marie Gray. Megan Eileen Green. Morgan Elizabeth Green. Bailey Elise Griggs. Dashaun J.P. Dwayne Grigsby. Joseph Remus. Tobias Eli Hackney. Trenton Blake Hale. DeAndre Lamar Hanks Jr. Oh, 
Kelsey Grace Hardaway. Kelsey Lamont Hardman. Bride Shane Harmon. Kaylee Danielle Harris. Zayden Devontae Harrison. Jacob Stephen Harwick. Keaton Gerard Hurd. Shayla Danae Heath. Devin J. Henry. Jade Michelle Henry. Ivana Sofia Hernandez. Luis Enrique Hernandez. Fiona Renee Hicks. Franklin John Bryant Hill. John Riley Hill. Victoria Jade Hillman. Faith Mackay Hogan. Zion Nyquist Holly. Jasmine, Jasmine Althea Holt. Brooke Avery Hutchings. Corbin Azure Hyden. Omar Ibarra. Zaquelin Marquez Jackson. Go, 
Jonathan Hymas. <laughs> Michaela Alexis James. Samantha Olivia Jimenez. Deshaun Antoine Jimerson. Amazing Tanaja Johnson. <laughs> Drayvon Marquise Johnson. Yeah! Lazaria Marie Johnson. Matthew Allen Johnson. Octagus Johnson. Katarian DeAndres Johnson Beecham. <laughs> Amadre Alia Dorian Jones. Cherish Christian, sorry. Cherish Christiani Jones. <laughs> Kayla Mariah Lee Jones. Charles Wesley Kimball. Taylor Alicia Kent. Marissa Page Looney. <laughs> William Roy Gibby. Guadalupe Mendoza Ledesma. Jonathan Leja Martinez. Martin Caleb Anthony Leha. Hayden Jace Little.
Jose Angel Lamas Yamas, sorry, Jose Angel Yamas Contreras. Contreras. Isaiah Irvin Lowe. Cameron Seth Loa. Juan Ramon Lugo. Corey Nathaniel Luna. Manuel Alejandro Luna. Edward Macias. Taif Macias. Caleb Glenn Manley. Tristan Manning. Decormius Iverson Devontae Matz. Jalen Deshaun Matz. <laughs> Sabrina Sarah E. Makeda. Ronche Devon Martin. Connor. Connor Paul Martin. Andres Martin, Jr. <laughs> Eric Martin. <laughs> Sorry. Eric Martinez. Oliverio Martinez. Kadarius Marquise Mason. Raven Nicole McFarland. Maria Janae McFraser Walters. <laughs> Brian Mendoza Rodriguez.
Jonathan Ramon Marino. Let's go, buddy! Austin James Middleton. Carolina Mondragon. I did it for you. Juan Carlos Montoya. Jared Jesus Morales. Alyssa Cameron Morales. <laughs> Moses Hasael Morales. Madeline Lilibet Moran Alvarenga Alvarenga Where's your mom? I don't know. On that side? Oh, and your wig is going out? Yeah. <laughs> Oscar Alexander Moreno. Christian Moreno Jason. Can I not show you love? Jason. Jada Cheyenne Morris. <laughs> Hannah Leanne Morrison. Trinity Lynn Morrison. Yeah. Jesus Eduardo Mota. Tyron Keyshawn Murphy. Sean Dylan Neely. Shanti Kiera Nelson. Emiliano, you hold my hand, I'm scared. Thank you, man. Azoria Newsom Flowers. Alexia Ladrina Faye Nixon. <laughs> Madison Carey Noller.
Andy Magdaleno Ocampo. Karen Ochoa. Benjamin Olvera the fourth. Gregory Don Olvera. Pablo Oropesa. David Ortega. <laughs> Isabella Osorio. <laughs> Jordan Osorio. Madison Nicole Osorio. Osvaldo Osorio. Bailey Janelle Page. Jennifer, Jennifer Palma Castillo. Jared Misael Pastor Para. Aran Patel. <laughs> Luis Fernando Pollen. Daniel Pelton, Jesus Francisco Pena, Roberto Carlos Pena and Tunis. Leah Jasmine Pinager. Pinager. Jared Perez. Lucas Ivan Perez. Ryan Perez Rodriguez. <laughs> Alexis Nicole Perkins.
Haley Renee Perry. Hugh Andre Pitts, Jr. William Joseph Poppleton. Emiliano Portillo. Shayla Portillo. Haley Danielle Potts. Tisha Pradhan. Tanner Lee Prather. Edwin Fernando Casetas. Juan Angel Carino. Alondra Galilea Ramirez. Ashley Marie Ramirez. Gracia Ramirez. Marlon Evangelina Ramirez. Misael Adon Ramirez. Tyra Ramirez. Jenna Avery Ramsauer. Alana Lee Rector. Courtney Victoria Reed. Jatoya Latrice Reed. Jonathan Travis Reyes Cook. Go, 
Jared Levi Rice. JC Louise Rice. Carlos Rios. Daisy Rios. Daisy, Daisy Rios. Jacob Rios. Jessica Rios. Joshua Troy Rivers. Abigail Rocha. Alexi Fidel Rodriguez. Angel Yvonne Rodriguez. The Norita. Isidro Rodriguez. Juan Carlos Rodriguez Rangel. Edward Rojas. <laughs> Alessandro Emil Romero. <laughs> Isaac Luis Rosales. Vanessa Rosales. Why would they do that? They don't know that person. Alondra Estrella Rosas. Josue Rosas. Perla Rosas Oviedo. <laughs> Isabella Luz Marcela Ruelas. Jonathan Alberto Ruiz. Kimeria Antoine Runnels. Austin Cole Russell. Sydney Joe Sadler. Josue Antelmo Salazar. Oh. 
Mo Salinas. Amanda Sanchez. Desiree Nicole Sanchez. <laughs> Selena Sanchez. Marley Sanders. Stinson Tracy Sanders. Tamara Rihanna Sanders. Isaiah Sandoval. <laughs> David Weston Santana. <laughs> Jennifer Yasmin Santiago. Tavion Israel Santiago. Andrew Lee Scarborough. Aiden Kane Shaft. Austin Gunner Seaholm. Paul Richmond Shatney. Andy Mitchell Shields. John Michael Schuler Jr. <laughs> Eva Elizabeth Shutt. Jordan Elise Simmons. <laughs> Jaylee Ann Singleton. Samuel Joseph Sisto. <laughs> Nakia Nicole Smallwood. Alexander Smith. Oh, I do too. 
Keelan Lee Smith. Colby Ryan Sokolowski. Belinda Soto Rios. Preston Bryce Stapleton. Laurel LaShawn Streeter. Oscar Suarez. Garrett Reed Taylor. Layden Matthew Tice. Stephen Lynn Toms. Tanya Torres. Madeline Jean Trent Burke. Richard Jameson Turner. Zydarian Daquan Tyson. <laughs> Kevin Martin Ugalde. <laughs> Nayeli Lisbeth Ugalde. Victor Manuel Uresti. <laughs> Jose Angel Vaca. <laughs> Denise Alejandra Vasquez. Sean O'Neill Vaughn. Anai Vasquez. Alex Gerardo Vega. Erica Alicia Vega. (laughs) 
Joel Gerardo Vega Alderete. Luis Angel Venegas. Logan Simone Venters. Arturo Gabriel Viegas. Christopher Peyton Vroman. Garrett Wayne West. Brian Julian Ward. Christopher Hunter Waters. Ian Michael Whirling. Mariah LaShawn White. Monica Lachey Whitus. Braden James Wilkinson. Cyan Darnell Williams. <laughs> Meredith Stacy Williams. Jaden Tyrese Wilson. Mikey Wilson. Jordan Daniel Winter. Caitlin Janae Wolfer. Kylie Brienne Wright. Luis Yan Yanez. Nathan Ashton Yanez.
Joshua James Yates. Julian Ray Yeager Morgan. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the class of 2022. I'd now like to ask Laurel Streeter, Nicholas Bustamane, and Eric Davis to come up to the stage. And while they're heading up here, because I'm a rookie, I'd like to apologize to Miss Fair and Miss Harrison for not introducing you earlier, but that is the principal and the counselor of New Horizons High School. Thank you for being with us tonight. We made it, 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 we made it! We made it! First, I want to thank my family and my, my friends. Much love for y'all. But with that being said, people in attendance, class of 2022, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for the future? All right, class of 22. You have been prepared well at school and by your families to succeed and thrive anywhere you go in this world. And remember that wherever life takes you, you'll always have a home in Greenville, Texas. With diplomas in hand, the time has come for us to turn our tassels from right to left. This symbolizes the crossing from high school to our next stage in our careers. And then again, y'all, man, I look out here, I see so many faces, man. Hey, I know this sounds corny, go ahead, laugh, go ahead, laugh. It's corny. I don't care, I'm gonna miss every single one of y'all, man. I mean that. Hey, and you know I gotta get one for the last book. <laughs> yeah! Yes, All right, sir. Congrats, to, congrats to class of 2022. Hey, once again, congratulations, congratulations to class of 2022. Yeah. Jesus is king. That was great. And now I'd like to invite Stella Duke and Anaya Johnson to the stage for the singing of our school song. us so that this is not painfully awkward. <laughs> E 
All right, at this time, we're going to go ahead and ask our line leaders to escort our students to the back of the stadium during the recessional. Uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, see your line leaders at the end of the night to receive your packets. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and do our recessional to the back of the stadium for a surprise. So line leaders, go ahead and take them that direction. And Mr. Bird, thank you for tonight. Bring us out with some music. Go ahead and join in the middle, middle of the end zone. Middle of the end zone, students. Check. Students, let's gather at the middle of the end zone, please. All right, here we go, students. This is our time to throw the caps, but we're going to wait for the count of three. Mr. Pitt, are you ready to go? Oh, come on, come on. Sorry about that. I got excited. Okay, it sounds like we are ready. So we're gonna count it down, students. Three, two, one. 